below. Today, what I want to show you is how you can prepare some bulgur wheats. Bulgur wheat is a um, fairly inexpensive grain. You can find it at many grocery stores, but it may seem a little intimidating if you haven't cooked with it before. So what I've done, um, or what I'm going to do, is I am going to measure out about a cup of this. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of water that I recently boiled. We're going to put a lid on that and leave that for about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's check and see how it turned out. So all the water has been absorbed and it's quite fluffy. It's not too soggy and that's what you're looking for if you notice um during the process that i would say like halfway through if you notice that there's still a lot of liquid i would just um put in just a little bit extra of the the bulgur wheat to just soak up that water and then you'll be fine um so just keep that in mind keep an eye on this especially the first time that you're making it. I find that everyone has slightly different preferences for um, the texture that they want out of this. So maybe use less water or maybe you want more water. Try it out. Um, it's not going to kill you. So now we have this base. Let's think about the ingredients that we want to add into this bowl. So the salad that I have been making lately has a base of cucumbers. And to that, I'm adding some black cured olives. I already have them pitted because I don't want to lose a tooth. Um, so if you're going to use those, I highly recommend you doing that work or just buying them pitted. To that, I'm gonna add some feta cheese. Um, if you happen to be vegan, you could certainly add any of the multitudes of vegan cheese. There's vegan feta. Um, I also like vegan mozzarella. I think that's very tasty. So if you cut that up in little cubes and put this in the salad, um, highly recommend. And then to that, I'm going to be adding these little, what are called Peruvian pearls or um, dew drops, you know, these little um, peppers that add a nice little burst of flavor. And just mix it. And then again, it's gonna be up to you of herbs that you wanna add to this. Um, mint is a great herb to add to this. If you don't have mint, using parsley or um, tarragon, um, basil, anything like that will do. You could use fresh herbs or dried herbs. This is very forgiving. And then um, to that, I would add some salt. You don't need to add too much, especially if you're adding 
the olives because they're already pretty salty to begin with. Then I'm going to add some oregano. This is my herb of choice. Some pepper, again, totally optional. And then some olive oil. And again, that's your preference of how soggy you want this. Lastly, I am adding some almonds. The almonds, I believe, give a nice contrast to the texture because everything else in this dish is you know, more on the, the softer side and the almonds do give a little bit of a crunch that makes the dish a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. So this is what I've been making uh, the past few weeks and having for lunch, mainly because it's quite simple to make. It will last a few days. It's quite nutritious and um, it's the job done. So let me know what you think. If you end up trying this recipe, let me know how it goes. As always, I really appreciate you sticking around with this channel, sharing my content, liking, engaging, and so forth. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really does help. I hope you all have a great day. Take care.